day. Amen. The only place we have life is in Christ. Outside Amen. of Christ, there is no life. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. The only place we have life is in Christ. That's right. Outside of Christ, there is no life. Amen. Now, Amen. let's get here as we as, 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 as we go a little bit deeper. I want to go, uh, go to uh, Romans chapter number 8. <coughs> Romans chapter number 8. Now, it's easy for us to beat ourselves up. That's easy for you to beat yourself up. Amen. A lot of people are spiritual sadists. <coughs> so they, they, they like that, you know, they beat themselves up all the time. Masochist. They're masochists. Say no masochists. <laughs> Yeah, man, why you beat yourself up? If God don't beat you up, why do you beat yourself That's up? That's right. <laughs> if God don't condemn you, why do you condemn yourself? Why is that so? When he said he has purged our conscience. Come on, somebody. My conscience has been purged. The, there's, a, there's a reason for that. Romans chapter number 8. Sister uh, Jessica. I'm going to ask you to read, starting at verse number one. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now, so now, now I'm, I'm going to stop right there because that is, and that is just mind blowing. I want uh, uh, your sister to, to uh, I know, I mean your mother. <laughs> I was just messing with her. <laughs> 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 Could you tell us what that means? Um, there is no condemnation to which to them which are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Now I know I stopped at that at a comma, and, and because there's a follow-on to the sentence, but but just to stop right there for one moment, what does that mean? You're free. Amen. You are free. free. Amen. You are free. Do you all not know that? Check, check how deep that means. <clears throat> that when he said, there is now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. He's saying that nobody can come to God with an accusation against you. That's right. Nobody upon earth can say they lied to me one time. They cheated me one time. Mm -hmm. Nobody on earth can come to God and say, Lord, Brother Dwayne beat me out of $15 and never did pay me back. <laughs> Now what if he no now but what if you had actually did that and they were true? <laughs> what if he had actually I'm just trying to mess with him before he give me the high five. But got <laughs> heap of trouble. <laughs> All right. But what if what if you had actually uh, cheated someone one day and you never did pay them back? And but now you have come to this place now and the Lord has because you have believed on the Lord Jesus and now the blood of Jesus Christ has been applied and your conscience is purged from dead works. As far as God is concerned, you've never cheated anyone. Because before him, you are clean. He paid, he paid that $15 in debt. He paid that. But the person you owe doesn't think that. Doesn't think that. It's just like this when you know if you for the wrong that all of us have done. A lot of times we did wrongs to other people. We never did apologize. Well, sometimes you don't see them. Sometimes you can't. You know? Sometimes you can't. So what do you do? You accept God's forgiveness. Right. You and you move on. You know, I think that is one of the most... Uh, it's una The words are just so unappealing. Yeah. And I actually had someone even say that about me. But just to... To say that somebody 
owes you. Yeah. Nobody owes you nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get you here. Can everybody Amen. say this? All sin. All sin is against God. It's against God. You sin in front of people. You sin against God. That's right. Come on. Like some, when you said like, oh, and you move on, it's like, it's easier said than done sometimes. It's easier yeah. said than done. It's difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, come on, church. Can everybody it's say hard. it's hard to move on? Yeah. It's hard. That's right. Yeah, yeah. To, to forgive and move. It's hard to do that. You have to forgive, though. You know. That's a must. Let me tell you, I got a call last week from my... <laughs> I got a call last week from my oldest living brother, and and he, you know, he wanted me to check on. Uh, and, and you all know that we had a, a, a tragic death. My sister was murdered by her husband. Why? And uh, and 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 he heard one of uh, one of one of her children saying that that dad might be getting out of prison soon, and he's only, you know, he's supposed to be serving a, a fifteen years term with with that before he ever comes up for parole, <coughs> and. Uh, and, and, you know, I said, man, uh, we want him to serve his time because that's just right. But we also have to practice forgiveness mm -hmm. because if he served his time and we love our nieces and nephews and he is in a family setting, we've got to be able to be there yeah. and be free. Mm -hmm. Hard, right? Yeah. You better believe it's hard to do it and move on. Oh my God. But you have to do it. That's difficult. Yeah, you have to do yeah. it though. That's difficult. And, 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 and let me ask you all, let me show you all how hard it is, but also how real it is. Many of us hurt the Lord Jesus Christ in a much more sincere and dear way than we've ever been hurt. And he cover us with his blood. And he embraces us. He forgives us for our sin. And he says to me, if you don't forgive those who have offended you, I won't forgive you for your offenses. Is it hard? That's why it takes the sons of God to forgive. One of the hardest things you can do in life is to forgive. Yeah. But you don't realize is that you begin to heal. You heal yourself when you forgive. The, there are a multitude of ladies and, and, and men who were molested sexually when they were little children and they find it impossible to forgive. That's true, but it can be but it must be done for them to heal and move on. It's a must. Because they've been, can you all imagine the number of young boys, I saw one crying on TV in Seattle. He was a grown man now, 30, was 40 years old. And, this, and he was crying because this priest molested him. The innocence, he felt, knows what it feels like to lose that. He, he may not have known what it is anymore or back then, but he knows that he lost it. Yeah, it's a sad thing. How do you how do you keep 